YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, The King Has Returned. This is Leo from Morphin Network, and I am here with my, well, probably my favorite six ranger, John Tui, <laughs> Doggy Kruger himself. How you doing today, man? Sweet as, bro. Thank you for having me, man. It's been awesome. I have to, it's been four years in the making, so I have to ask you, how are you enjoying this convention so far? Loving it. This is my second one. I went to the first one in uh, Orlando, out in Florida, 2019, then COVID hit. Oh, yeah. So it's good to see everybody out here, especially um, after COVID, post-COVID, you know, with the, the franchise is alive again and kicking, and to be at the largest one in America today is uh, insanely awesome. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. So, for those of people who don't know, you were the Shadow Ranger and Solaris Knight. I got to ask, this is the difficult question. Which one do you prefer? We talked about this on our podcast, and I said, it's like, I've got twin boys, so it's hard. It's like asking me which one of the twins I love the most. What I can focus on are the differences in the characters. They are both mentors. Uh, Doggy Kruger for me was uh, like the tough father who, through love, would teach these cadets survival skills in this evil world, you know what I mean? Yeah. And to fight, fight evil and fight the bully and to stand up for yourself. Solaris Knight was a mentor, but for me what shone through for, from playing Solaris was loyalty to your, to your brotherhood. Yes. You know? So they both had these elements that I really enjoyed playing and they were both strong characters. So. I based uh, Solaris Knight on a general figure, so I went to General Patton, uh, George C. Scott's performance in Patton, which he won an Oscar for back in 1970. And I based uh, my performance as Solaris Knight on Russell Crowe's performance of Maximus in the movie Gladiator. Also won an Oscar in year 2000, so for me to come with the foundation of as an actor to play uh, two mentor strong roles I focused on two Oscar award winning performances yeah which, <laughs> speaking of which I got here's one you were in Hobbs and Shaw Fast and Furious what was that like what was it like being on the set with Dwayne Jason Statham and stuff like that what was your experience like awesome awesome um, to play DJ's brother the most handsome of all the brothers was fantastic <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Dwayne Johnson's a huge icon, man. He's a massive figure. And, uh, you know, Power Rangers gave me my first break. So I can't enjoy my current and past successes in the movie industry without acknowledging the Power Ranger community and the fan base. So one love to everybody out there. And um, every time you see a Power Ranger actor that's out there working, support them. Because at some point, the love always comes back, and hence why I'm here in LA, Pasadena. I w I w I've been waiting for four years to see you, so this this has been, it's an honor. It's an honor doing this interview with you. Cheers, bro. And uh, keep supporting the channel because it's young brothers like this that get the word out there who have great interviewing skills and to keep us connected to the world that we live in, man. Awesome. Once a ranger, always, always a, a ranger. ranger. One more question. I got yeah, this. You were in Star Wars. What was it like? What was it like being in the Han Solo movie? Um, a dream come true. Like, for example, I was a huge fan of uh, Lord of the Rings. I love the whole world, and then to have the chance to play Bold, which is one of the characters I played in um, The Hobbit, was uh, full circle for me. I'm a huge uh, Star Wars fan. Um, and then when I heard that they were going to do the life of Han Solo and make a movie out of it, the fact that I'm part of the Star Wars culture, being part of the franchise, to have the opportunity to play that character, dream come true. So, yeah, man. If y'all haven't yet, you, you got Disney Plus. I know some of y'all got it. Go watch the Han Solo movie and watch his brother support him. Yeah, John, man. it's an honor, man. Always, brother. This is Leo from Warfare Network signing out. Congratulations on your child. Thank you. Thank you.